Hello everyone and welcome back to the second round of the Lighthouse Open here on the Corn Ferry Tour. I'm currently in 6th uh, position at um, 5 under par, 3 shots behind Carter Casey who's in the lead at 8 under. So I need to chase him and Jordan Lambert as well. I don't see where George McDormand is, there he is at 3 under. So he's the total leader of the Corn Ferry Tour. So I need to finish uh, better than him, and hopefully better than better than Jordan Lambert, who's in third position right now as well. So those are the two people I'm chasing in the total standings. Uh, I shot a 66 in the first round here at the Royal Ethelwind, and I really enjoy this course. It's a beautiful course. Uh, first good links course I've played on this game. Uh, so I really enjoy the first round, and hopefully I can make a better round even now 2k sports and the corn ferry tour are proud to bring you today's event today's coverage of the lighthouse open is about to start pleased you could join us for this second round action hi everyone luke elby alongside rich b and rich this player is trailing do they have to really step it up and get it going today in the top 10, but let's face it, that's just top 10. They really need to get a top five finish or better if they want to improve their chances to make the FedEx Cup playoffs later on this year. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Okay, we're going to start off the same way as we did yesterday, of course, uh, with this long par five. I birdied this yesterday, so hopefully I can make, the, make it again today. Let's see what kind of Tony sits Looks like a good today. drive here. No wins at all today, it looks like. So this is going to be a round where you have to make a lot of birdies because the rest of the field will certainly play well. One win so far this season. 288 two yards left, so quite long. Do I want to go this long or should I just have a pitch left. If it's 288, I want to be 230 something out. <laughs> or do I want a longer approach? I think I'm actually gonna add some loft to my firewood here. Hopefully it stays in the fairway. Stay there. I think this will be a good distance. Getting ready to play their third. Yeah, 52 yards. This is perfect. So I can hit this up here and spin it back a tiny bit. A bit too slow though. But yeah, that's good. Yeah, good work. pitch. That's fine. This one's for birdie. It's up, it could be in. Turn back. Yes. And what a start. Oh, thank you very Good much. first hole here. Another. Let's see well, what the others have already this event. made uh, this far. Okay, so the first a lot of people on eight under at the moment. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Oh, that was Looks like another good drive here. Hopefully it stays in the fairway. It should. Yeah, that's in the middle of the fairway. I made a mess of this hole yesterday with a bad approach shot here and I bogeyed this hole. So hopefully I can have this sit down close to the flag now so I can at least have a par, but hopefully even better. That's way too fast though, isn't it? No, that's going to be fine. Actually, a very good shot. And we have a chance for birdie. A wonderful shot. A chance for birdie here at the second. Nine feet to the cup here. So it's going slightly downhill. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. yeah, pushed it out to the left there. Up here. 
But it's a par, it's better than yesterday at least, so still one under after the first two holes. And moving down the leaderboard as well. First par three here of the day. Beautiful par threes in this course. Really nice. So I'm gonna have to add... No, actually I'm gonna hit pitching wedge. Gonna deal off it a tiny bit. Hopefully this will kick forward towards that flag. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This needs just a little work to the left-hand side. Okay, should have deal off that it a bit more but that's fine it's going to be a difficult putt though 19 feet quite a bit uphill it's moving from right to left what a putt come on go in and with that, so, if you watched yesterday's video, you saw that I had quite a lot of those putts that just stayed just outside the hole. Uh, so I could have been in an even better position right now, but shouldn't complain too much. So, this is going far, hopefully. Eight days a week, that, rhythm that should be good if it kicks out to the right. Hopefully it doesn't kick into the left here. It leans down towards that left-hand side, but it's far enough to roll past that corner. So this is going to be a short approach play. 113 yards. Be close. Spin back now. Hmm, I thought it was going to spin some, but... Anyway, this is makeable. 12 footer. No! <laughs> Just outside the hole again. So the putting is really frustrating at the moment. So close on several occasions, but not quite the right line. Four shots behind at the moment. So can we make another birdie here? A short but narrow hole, this. We ended up in the this uh, bunker last time. So I think we'll aim like this now. Oh, I felt that way too fast, but I think it'll stay in the fairway. Yeah, that's a good tee shot, actually. Just 97 yards left here. So is this our best option? I'd rather hit a normal shot. Yeah, there we go. Sand wedge, this should be good. Might be one club too many. Good shot. Very nice approach play. But look at this hill. <laughs> this is a nasty pin location. So what happens if I miss this? It won't be a gimme the next one either. Yes! What a putt! Really needed that one. Scary pin location with that slope. Good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Let's see what happens here on the Okay, so another par five here. I tried to lay up yesterday, but ended up in the bunker here. So I think I'm gonna hit a slight fade here with five wood. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Very good tee shot. Perfect, actually. 
Second shot here on the sixth. And we can't quite make it to the green, but we can make it to this open fairway spot. Way too slow that. Can it kick out? Yeah, it looks like it can. Go left. Yes. Thank you. Good bounce for us there. You like that, didn't you? And here we are with the third 60 shot. yards left. Only a few shots off the pace. It's a bit uphill this, but we're going to add some spin. What a shot! What a oh, shot, exa <laughs> exactly. Oh, well <laughs> Very nice approach. Tie for fourth place if you can hold this putt. And we have another birdie. Holds the putt for back to back birdies. Back to back birdies here. Very nice. So the par 5s are looking good today. Just three shots behind Samuel Crooked at the moment. One behind Carter Casey. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. So we can't go for it today, I don't think. So we're gonna hit it up here. Should be good. Yeah, that's a good tee shot. Yeah, that one will play. 111 yards left here. Three strokes off the lead. That should find the surface. Ooh, what an approach shot! That's We've had a few of those now. Very nice. Jimmy birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Make this, and you'll move into a tie for third place. And we have another birdie. So a streak of three in a row. That's what we finished off the last round with as well. Three straight birdies. So yeah, more of those, please. Two shots behind still. Okay, so long par four. Gonna hit a lofted fade here. Ah, uh, yes. The gentle fade. The butter cut, if you will. Hit it a bit too fast, though. It. Hasta la bye -bye. And this is in the heavy rough, so not a lot of spin on this, probably. For the fade, but finding the straight shot. Not good. I think I'll ship it. Will this even make it onto the green? Scary ship this. Hit eight eight iron maybe. Oh, way too far. Yeah, should have picked nine. Stop. So maybe we're looking at the first bogey of the day. Not an easy putt this. Seventeen feet uphill. Not quite. Just three feet to the cup. Okay. So first Let's bogey of the day after those three straight birdies. Hmm. Made a mess of that tee shot. Ended up on the wrong side of the green, or I ended up in the rough above the green. Okay, so long but narrow part four here. What? kind of rhythm is that it must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that I'm actually driving very well now some time ago I had real issues with my tee shots but I've improved my swing timing a lot back there horsey so a bit too far there, maybe because I fasted. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Important part here, they make it, they're into the top five. Oh god, 
That wasn't turning at all. <laughs> I thought it was going to turn way more. That was a really bad putt, actually. But it's a par. And we finish the front nine on two under par. No, three under par, sorry. Still three shots behind the leader. But we have another par five here. Gonna hit three wood. Should be good, I think, if it kicks out. Yep. Well, that's a handy shot. Here we go. Interesting looking approach out here. The pin placement isn't the easiest one. Tiny draw was the idea, but I fasted a bit. Hopefully it can kick to the right here. It should, but it stopped quickly, so... Yeah, but this is a good opportunity. We should be able to make a birdie from here. Sitting at eight under. Currently in ninth spot. 19 yards. We're going to hit splash. Oh. There we go. And there we go. We should have a tap in birdie. Nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Yes. Good hole. And have made birdies on all the par fives here. Three shots behind. Come on. Scary looking hole this. Beautiful hole though. Going with the six iron here. Bit too fast so that that so may go over the green. Yep. Yeah. But still quite an okay shot. Approach, so we're going to have to spin this a lot, I think. Hopefully we can make it. Didn't Oof, so close. But a good chip. Touch. Really nicely played. You better believe and a tap in par. Stuff to watch. Job done. Let's head to the next. He currently shares fourth position. Still three behind. At a par four. Oh, look, that was a stonker there. Stop. Stay there. Okay, just stay in the first cut then. Yeah, thanks. Should have aimed it further to the right, especially with this pin position. I wasn't even looking at that. Hmm. <laughs> Five iron with some loft, maybe. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, that's way too far. Ha. Not a good shot. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Lots of greens and regulation today for this player, Luke. This is a surprise missing this one. I think we're gonna chip it up here with pitching wedge. Let it roll down. Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there because that was not so the right practice. alternative. Keep the power on the car. Turn. Ouch, that hurts. So a little too much break on that one. Or I put a little bit too much break on it. And it's a bogey. Okay, so Samuel Crooked, well, he's done for the day. So he's not going to move anywhere from that 12 under position. This is a nasty pin location. Gonna aim it here if I happen to fast it a bit. Of course, then I slow it instead. 
but that's fine. Should have a par from here. Approach that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Another good attempt, but not quite. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. Just a simple tap in for power on this one. But it's a par. And now we have these five holes, five straight par four holes here to finish this off. Of course, we ended up with three straight birdies in the last three holes. So hopefully we can make something similar today. Oh, that's out in the rough. This one might roll into the rough. Or will it kick left? Yeah, it will. That's a good position, actually. So this must be one of the easier tee shots, but it's a long approach play, of course. I think we're going to hit 5 iron and let it roll up to that hole. Opting for the 5 iron. It won't be far enough, though, I think. Oh, well. It's within birdie range. That dog will hunt. Oh, this will be good for Just the moment. 19 Let's feet. It's way downhill. Turn. Oh, so close again. Three feet to go here. Oh well. Let's head to the next. Four holes to go. Come on, let's make some birdies. This is an interesting hole. I think we can drive past that bunker now and hopefully keep it straight. And then we fast it way out into the rough. That was not a good shot, to say the least. Time now to play the second shot on the uh, Okay. <laughs> a lot of bushes here. So nine iron maybe. We're actually gonna hit a full shot with Lob wedge, I think. Or maybe even sand. Well, it's better to be short, actually. Hopefully, we will make it out of the bushes. Where will this one end up? Yeah, that's fine. Getting ready to play their third. Currently, four shots off the pace. Oh god, that was going way too far. So I made a mess of a couple of holes today. A couple of holes too many. So not a lot of not a good putt there. I was don't know what I was gonna say there. But. Oh well, it's a bogey. We're back to seven under. We need a good finish here. Ninth position right now. Come on now, let's make a few birdies. Good drive. Should be in the perfect position, I think. Bit shorter than yesterday. So it's gonna be a long approach. It looks like a difficult position behind that Spot bunker. Yeah. But eight irons should be good here, I think. Or should we hit seven? 
I think we're gonna hit seven and add some attack angle to it. No, that's way too fast. Mm -mm. Did you judge that right? Don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Yeah. And here we are with the third shot. Five <sighs> shots off the lead. So we're gonna hit gap wedge here. So that's good. Hopefully we can save par. And this would be a great par putt if you can make this. Yes. Yeah, to sweat over that good putt. <sighs> Come on now. A one -stroke advantage. Oh, Carter Casey is now 13 under. He's still got two holes to go. Here we find ourselves on the tier of a par four. Come on. So can this reach the green? Or is that just unnecessary? I won't be able to hit it that straight, I don't think. We're gonna hit five wood. Should be on the fairway if it doesn't kick. Yeah, that's fine. Second shot here on the seventeenth hole. Hmm, seventy-seven yards left. Chosen the pitch. Way too here. slow. Nothing good out on the right hand side, Luke. This headed for trouble. It's a weird spin there the at the end. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. Oh god, that was going way too far. A nine foot chance here. Nope. Such a bad last few holes here. And down it goes. And back to six under. He finds himself in a share of eleven. Unfortunately, backing up. And this is not looking good. On that leaderboard, Luke. Eight shots behind. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. That is right down That's the a good shot, line. though. Don't you roll down into the bunker. Yeah, thanks. Sitting at minus six. 129 yards goal. left. Going with the pitching wedge here. Should be good. Should be really good, actually. A wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance Can we make... A birdie here. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Yes. Okay, today. so good finish there at least. But yeah. One over par on the back nine. That's a shame. Off to a great start, but ultimately they blew it. They did. It was uh, they had everything going in the front nine and all of a sudden they make the turn and where does it go? So yeah, we're tied for nine uh, after two rounds. Seven shots behind Carter Casey, who's in the lead. Jordan Lambert, still two shots in front of us. It's important that we finish before him. So yeah, not the best of rounds today. Two under in, the, in this round and seven under in total. Hopefully I can have a better round tomorrow. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.